It's finally looking like spring in my part of the world. The last couple of weeks, it's rained a lot. But the rain has brought with it warm air and the trees and the grass and the woods are really starting to respond from the rain and the warm. There's a beautiful green mist that I can see from the distance forming on the branches in the trees. Things are starting to bloom, including the magnolias, which I've been kind of obsessed with for the last couple of weeks as I've watched them go from tiny little pointy buds of magenta into full bloom now in shades of magenta and pink and white. They're absolutely beautiful and they smell fantastic. In my desire to understand them so that I can paint them, I've taken video of rainy days and video of sunny days, how they move in the wind, photographs from a distance, photographs up close. I really want to understand how to paint them. So I feel like I have to understand the mechanics of them. I've found myself day in and day out watching them from my window. So I finally set up my easel on a rainy afternoon and took to painting them. I started first with a rough sketch and then just got to it. My color choices were completely based on what I was seeing. The grays in the background behind the tree in the forest, the greens and the blues that were reflected in the branches of the magnolia tree, and of course, that magenta and pink and white of the flowers themselves. I was aware that they don't last long. They're very fleeting blossoms. Even now, as I speak, I can look out my window and see the petals just falling to the ground like confetti. Now my whole inspiration for learning how to paint these beautiful flowers is to use that knowledge for future paintings. I consider the two in this video merely studies of how to paint magnolias, but my hope is to use that knowledge for possibly a reclining nude. Uh, I think it would be really beautiful to have uh, a reclining nude in the foreground of a painting with the backdrop of magnolia blossoms. I've really enjoyed painting these and learning the, the mechanics and I kind of went with a more impressionistic style as I was painting these just because it seemed like that was the appropriate way to paint them with their fleeting ways. Um, like I said, the blooms don't last long and I just wanted to study them and capture them. I think the impressionistic style really lent to that and I've always been a little fascinated with painting branches of trees and blossoms and flowers. I really enjoy it and I'm pleased with the outcome. I have really enjoyed myself the last couple of weeks, seeing the changing season from winter to spring. It's been beautiful, it's been warmer, it's been wet, but I love it. I am looking forward to planting a garden full of sunflowers, which will no doubt bring more inspiration for more paintings I will have these paintings available in my online shop soon, so if you haven't checked out my website yet, please do so. Also, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, 
please do leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.